Hello, welcome to my channel. So, um, every year, twice a year, uh, me and my friends go to this consignment sale, and it's in Middle Tennessee, and it's called Consign and Co. And every time I go to it, I'm like, I'm not gonna do a video for my YouTube, but one, people like these videos, okay? And two, I like for my family to see what I got and my deals. And three, it's my channel, and so I'm excited about my deals, so I wanna share them. So if you're interested, watch. If not, you don't have to. All right, let's get right in. So I got, I'm gonna share prices too, and then if I remember at the end, I'll share how much they were, but I normally forget that. So if you're really interested, you can add it all up if I forget to share. But anyway, I'll try to remember to say how much everything cost. Okay, so I got this cute, by the way, my daughter is two. Um, don't know if that matters or not, but I have a little girl and she's two. So that's what I bought clothes for. But um, here is a H&M plaid shirt. I thought this was really cute for Christmas. This was $5. I'm only holding a few pieces at a time and then I have to go back and grab extras. So we'll see how this goes. Cat and Jack skinny jeans, $3. What a steal. Then there is this little heart ruffle shirt from Old Navy. This was $3. Um, I like to do like a Valentine's week themed outfits kind of thing. So I thought that would be cute for Valentine's. This one I'm obsessed with y'all. Like it's so stinking cute. It's a little fleece vest from Old Navy. I can't even handle how cute this is. $4, I want this in my size. And then this, I'm, this was a good find because this is at Target actually right now. And I almost bought it the other day because I thought it was so stinking cute. But it was $10 and I was like, no, I don't need that. And then I found it at the consignment sale for $4. It's that little like thermal waffle knit thing with a little ruffle. It's just so cute. Gosh, I wish that there was an adult consignment sale that was this good because I need some clothes. Okay, this is another one that I almost bought at Walmart the other day. They were $10, but I was like, no, again, she doesn't need that. Plus, it's almost a consignment sale, you know. Um, this was only $3. A little corduroy jumper. Super cute. Okay. Then, some Children's Place Christmas pajamas. I only wake up early on December 25th. And look at the little pants. So cute. Children's Place, $5. Then this one, I didn't really love the shirt. Didn't buy it for the shirt, but it came with the pants. I'll show you the back. Like, look at the bottom. There's a little lace detail in the ruffle bottom. I Those are too cute. I can't even handle it. Um, this was $4 for the whole thing. Okay, so I would have paid more than $4 for just the pants. So the shirt was basically a bonus. This little um, nightgown was $4. Another little Christmas outfit. Then this was a real steal, steal. Two pairs of these icing pants for $4. These I got for Christmas, the pink and white striped ones, or pink and red striped ones, because I just got her a little bow and it's pink and it has red and white candy canes on it. So I was like, this one, that's perfect. And then my friend brought up that these will also be great for uh, Valentine's Day. So those, and then these other ones, I think are like a taupe brown color, whatever, I'll go with the white. And then this little um, dress was $8, barely even looks worn. Super cute, little boutique dress. New, I mean a boutique dress, new, that could have cost at least $30, okay. These little jeans, $2 for some jeggings. She didn't have any um, jeans in her size. She was squeezing into an 18 to 24 month pair. So glad to get some extra jeans. Just a little plain black shirt for $2. Um, Cat and Jack fleece lined pants. I'll show you. Let's see. So they obviously are fleece lined, but I thought these would be cozy for the winter, $3. Then these, y'all, the next few items are some of my favorites. These jeans for Christmas. I mean, come on. These are the cutest stinking things. I can't even get over them. Like, with a little monogrammed Christmas shirt. Fresh. Then, these pajamas. I've actually thought about getting some of these similar. 
some pajamas similar to these, but they're like so expensive. And these were, oh, sorry, the Santa jeans, those were $8. That was a little bit of a splurge, but I couldn't pass those up. This was $5 for this little pajama set. Look at how cute with the little ruffle bottoms. I just love the little kid sets that have the button up top. Like, they look, they look like a little adult. It's so cute. Okay, these were good deals. Old, Na Old Navy white jean jacket, $3. Jean jacket, $3. Okay, I never have too many of those. Then, this dress, I don't know. It just really drew me in because it feels like something that I would wear. It's like a dress slash tunic. It's super stinking soft. Um, the brand is Copper Key. If you know anything about this, comment below because I feel like this is a brand I should know about, but I don't. It was only $4, so I bet it's worth definitely more than $4. You can't buy anything new for $4, so I liked that. These I was torn about, they're Mud Pie brand pants. Chris, I bought a pair of these last year at the consignment sale that were green, and Chris thought that they were the ugliest things ever, so I just knew he was going to hate these. But, I mean, for Christmas outfits, it's cute. Mud Pie brand, $4, okay? Whatever. Even if she only wears them one time, it was worth it. Okay, this outfit was definitely a splurge. It's the Honeydew Boutique is the brand. Never heard of it, but it was $12, but it literally looks brand new. That's the top, and then these are the pants that go with it. Like, this is cute, and this is a good, like, winter to spring transition outfit. So, I'm trying to, like, convince myself that this was a good purchase because it was more expensive, but... I'm convinced, okay? <laughs> this one I'm pumped about because I was actually between this dress and another mustard color dress that was Old Navy. And the Old Navy one actually cost more. And my friend was like, get this one. And um, so when I was showing all my friends my clothes, she was like, wait, what's the name of that brand? And I said, Allison Ames. And she looked it up and knew their dresses are $50. Like, what the heck? This was $3, okay? Gosh, you can just tell by this tag. But that's an expensive brand, okay? But yeah, that's so cute. And then last year, we had a snow apocalypse that was very unexpected, and Emma Jane had no clothes for it. She was, We were very unprepared. And so basically, I've been scarred by that experience. And so I got some jackets because I was like, Ugh, like we can't do that again. So I feel like I got some good deals on jackets. This one was $6, and it's Columbia brand. So... I mean, that's just cute. So, yeah, I was excited about that one. That was a good find. This one, not so much, but, you know, I'm trying to convince myself about it. It's it's thinner than the other one. It's very shiny, you know. It's, it's very little girly, let's just say that. Um, I don't hate it, but it's just a little much. It's, it's thinner than the puffy Columbia one, so I was like, maybe if we need, like, one not, like, if it doesn't snow quite as hard as it did last year, we'll need this kind instead. And after I'd finally convinced myself to get this, I discovered that there was a crown, which is very not my style. I almost like put it back, but I was like, you know what? She's two. Okay, whatever. This is only $3. Okay, so what are you going to do? Um, oh, I got these. This one's kind of falling apart, but it's two pairs of just like Cat and Jack leggings, black and white, $3 for two pairs. I mean, you can never have too many. This one, adding it to the arsenal for uh, Valentine's Day because these are so stinking cute. Look at these. Little conversation heart pants. Cute. Then, oh, the conversation heart pants were $2. Okay, really can't pass it up for that. These were 5 for Christmas. And then these, I love the icing pants. Those are my favorite. Um, I prefer those to like the bells. I just like them better. Um, I really just wanted the red polka dot pair for Christmas and Valentine's Day, but this came as a set with the teal pair. I mean, she'll definitely wear them. They just weren't my favorite. It was $10 for the two pairs, so five each. You know, not terrible. Then I got this Frozen Christmas book. I'm dealing um, the 25 Days of Christmas books. So, um, I don't know if this is a thing or not. I felt like I'd seen it somewhere, but every time I tell somebody, they're like, that's the cutest idea. I really don't think I made it up though. But anyway, so I got, and I'll show you my wrapping paper I got for them too, because it's right here. 
I got 25 Christmas books for Emma Jane. I'm gonna wrap them all up and every day she'll get to pick a book to unwrap and then we'll read it that night. So she's obsessed with Frozen right now. And this was a quality book. It's board book pages and um, it was $2. This is the wrapping paper. I am a wrapping paper crazy person, basically. Um, I'm obsessed with wrapping paper. It's like one of my favorite parts of Christmas, like picking out the perfect wrapping paper and the perfect ribbons to go with it and the labels. It's a whole thing. But anyway, this is the set that I got to wrap her Christmas books in. I thought this was like so cute and little girly. It's light pink. I don't know if you can tell. Um... But I also got some Mickey Mouse and Frozen paper because she likes those things. And I figured that, whatever, she can have it in her room. But anyway, that's the paper I got to wrap it. I also got, which the girls were playing with the toys. So they're kind of like all over the place. But I'll show you this. Okay, so I got two bags, gallon bags full of like little Frozen toys. This bag of toys was $8. Oh, this was like the best steal. Hold on, I gotta find it. Hold on. Okay, so the bag that I just showed you that was $7, it just came with like little random Kristoff, baby Kristoff, little figurines, whatever, a bunch of those. Um, this little guy, he lights up. I just can't figure out how to do it. There we go. He, he's the little salamander from the second movie in case you haven't seen it. Um... Those are in one of the bags. One of the bags was $7, one of the bags was $4. But in one of the bags, you're not even gonna believe what I'm about to tell you, I found. Okay, so I was already gonna get these for Imogen for Christmas. I don't know if you know about Pop Funkos, but they're $10 a piece. There's an one bag came with two Annas, Pop Funkos, and an Elsa one, and the whole bag was $7. And it had other toys in it too. So this is a $30 value. And that wasn't even all that was in the bag. So I was really excited about that, if you can't tell. And then my other last toy find that I found, I was super excited about. It was the Frozen Little People set. And it came with all the characters and the sleigh and Sven. Um, and this was $7. I don't know how much it is new, but I'd also looked at getting this for Emma Jane. So I'm just really tickled about the frozen toy purchases and really all the clothes purchases. So if you have stuck with me this long, thanks for watching. Um, I don't know how to end this video. Thanks for watching. I was going to say comment below your favorite things. I don't know. I don't know. Thanks for watching.